This week, several Gulf Arab states announced they're reportedly considering normalizing relations with Israel, all in exchange for a partial settlement freeze. Yet there are still many advocating for Palestinian sovereignty over all of the West Bank, and many of those people happen to come from NGOs funded by European entities. Is Europe the last holdout on stances the Arab nations are ready to disown? We're here with Olga Deutsch from NGO Monitor, an organization that monitors NGO activities in Israel and the territories. Thank you so much for joining us. Hi, Natasha. Thank you for having me. All right, so let's begin with some uh, recent news. The Danish government just announced $8 million in grants to pro-BDS Palestinian NGOs. Is this a substantial number compared to the covert funding that we don't necessarily know about? That is correct. The Danish foreign minister actually just finished his visit in the region yesterday. He met with the prime minister, Netanyahu, and this morning he, was, uh, he spent the whole day in Ramallah with his delegation. And this morning they signed an agreement with Ramallah, with the Palestinian Authority, uh, for uh, an amount of $80 million by and large. But a part of that, which is $88.3 million that you were referring to, uh, will go to a handful of Palestinian uh, human rights NGOs, Now, what are those NGOs? Can you, can you tell us who is going to be given that funding and what kind of work that they're doing Most on the ground? Most certainly. It's very alarming, actually, to which NGOs the, the money went in the, in the previous funding cycle, which, by the way, the money went up. In the previous cycle, Denmark allocated $5.7 million for the same period of time. So it's a significant number. It's a significant increase. Not only that, but also they announced in a, in a document by the uh, Foreign Ministry of Denmark that the number of recipients, meaning number of NGOs that will be receiving funding, will go down. So by NGO, it will be a larger allocation. And we're talking about really dangerous NGOs. Some of them incite to violence, justify terrorism, call for violence, call uh, terrorists shahidim, you know, or mar mar martyrs. Uh, promote blatant anti-Semitism. You can see a, a lot of this stuff on our website. Uh, you can see uh, tweets of one of the uh, activists, Manal Tamimi, who works for Weeklek, who used to be the, who enjoys this funding by uh, IHL Secretariat, which Denmark just pledged to continue funding, where she calls for the, uh, for, to murder all Zionists, uh, uh, all Israelis, etc. Like the, the worst possible things you can imagine. That's, that hardly contributes to peace in the region. Well, let's turn to another issue. The Prime Minister recently canceled a meeting with the German Foreign Minister following the Foreign Minister's meeting with Breaking the Silence, uh, which is a highly contested organization here in Israel. That sent a strong message. Do you think that Europe is listening? Well, it's a, it's a difficult question because it, uh, it, um, it provokes a, an internal political debate here, but equally so a political internal debate in Europe. Breaking the silence and Betzelem uh, became sort of symbols of what is seen as the civil society critical of the government in Israel. And um, I believe there, there could have been more constructive ways on both ends, both on the part of the German foreign minister and on part of our government to solve that issue. But most certainly the, the message that was conveyed was strong. Um, I am not sure that, that, uh, that what... what sort of came as a response from Europe is the response that we would like. What we sort of at NGO Monitor try to promote at both ends, uh, both here in Israel and with the decision makers in Europe, is to call for a direct dialogue between the governments. These things are, these issues are obviously controversial, both there and here, but all the more reason for the decision makers, for members of the parliament to, uh, to grab them hands on and discuss on, on these tough issues and try to find uh, at least the issues on which we can agree on and then move forward from there. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me.